worry today when I see racial polarization, not only in this city, but in this nation. I worry when I see polarization across socioeconomic lines. I worry if we are ready as a generation to start rebuilding the bridges that many of us have destroyed with our own hands. Yes, they have passed on. And it is my prayer that all of us who remain behind will be awake to this moment when mantles are falling down for the next generation to carry. And it is my prayer that we will have the boldness to confront our reality and pledge our lives as they have done. Archbishop Desmond Tutu lived a life of servanthood. He did not seek personal gain, and that is why he spoke so fearlessly against corruption that he saw on the rise in this nation like a cancer destroying everything they had labored so hard to build, not only spiritually but also in the natural. Blood was shed for our liberation, for the freedoms that we enjoy today. We do not need to continue shedding blood. We have been given a strong foundation upon which to build. And all we need to do is be true to that calling to continue building these bridges and continue building on this foundation. They've teach us a lot of things about love. Babu Tutu used to say, Uncle Uncle, I get a good double story, and a good big house. Uncle Uncle Ula and Sabati. I'm one of those people. I really appreciate what Daddy did to us because the first celebration they had at um, Ubuntu Crawl, all the friends they had, international friends, when they came to celebrate with them, we were the first people to have a full house in the guest house. They were motivating us to start the businesses. We even went to him when we started the businesses. That, that uh, since you are one of the uh, two no uh, Nobel Prize winners in Orlando West, can we use your name as a marketing product for our businesses? He gladly gave us a photo that we printed on the T-shirts and then the business started moving. We're going to miss them. We're going to miss Tata very much. He was a daddy, he was a grandfather to our children. He was a motivator, he was everybody's father. What I like most about him, he always teaches us to love each other unconditionally.